Here's another micro moment, and I am so excited about this one, I could hardly sleep last night. And those of you that are vegan probably already know about this, and are just gonna think I'm silly to be so excited. But for me, this is a new discovery, and I love it. And that is what you can do with the juice in a can of beans, especially chickpeas. And the juice that you drain out of this can, or, that you can harvest from cooking your own chickpeas has amazing properties. And this liquid can replace eggs in just about everything you want to do. So it is called aqua faba, aqua faba, aqua meaning water, faba meaning beans, and then they flipped it so it's bean water, but the name says water beans. Now, the properties of this liquid were brought to um, the forefront about seven years ago by an engineer who was just experimenting around with everything and discovered what amazing properties this has. So let's talk for just a second about what eggs do when we cook and bake with them. First of all, eggs lend structure. It helps with the leavening, it adds richness and color and flavor. And then eggs also um, emulsify sauces. Think mayo, mayonnaise. Eggs are needed in there for their emulsifying properties when you add the oil. And then also they add moisture. Well, what does aguafaba do? Oh my goodness sake. Let me tell you how, first of all, it gets here. When we cook garbanzo beans, like in a can or when we do it ourselves, what happens with that cooking water is the starch, a lot of the solids from the beans pull out of the beans and get into the water. And that water can emulsify. It foams. It's a binder, just like eggs are a binder. It holds things together. It, it is uh, gelatinous. It is a thickener. And I was just blown over by this one. It whips up like egg whites. Is that just amazing? I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. Now, unlike other egg replacers like flax or chia seeds, they don't whip and they don't bind. I've tried the flax egg replacement in a couple of recipes and either I'm not doing it right or something because I just, I don't like them at all. Now what you can do with this is you can use the, the juice, just plain, and you can use one tablespoon of this to replace an egg yolk, two to replace one egg white, and three to replace one whole egg. So this is how many beans there are in a can of beans. This in fact is an identical can of beans without its juice because I have used that bean juice, that aguafaba, for these three things right here. First of all, these are cornmeal mini muffins. They have red sweet peppers and I did add a little bit of our freeze-dried green chilies in here and these are marvelous. No eggs. This took three tablespoons of aguafaba, the equivalent of one egg. This is mayonnaise and it is eggless. It has aquafaba instead. I mixed this up this morning with my immersion blender and I honestly cannot tell the difference. This is great and it has no eggs for those of you that can't eat eggs. So this is wonderful. But here is the thing that I'm so happy about, I could almost cry. I have been working for eight months to develop a recipe for gluten-free bread. And two things came together this week. First of all, I discovered aquafaba and that it whips. And second of all, I finally, all of the research that I've been doing congealed in my head and I've come up with a pattern of ingredients that works for gluten-free bread. I had to kind of get used to the taste of gluten-free bread and most of the stuff that I made was just plain nasty and so I wouldn't bring it into a video. But I made this yesterday and I took a bite of it. We cut, I couldn't wait. We cut into it. I mean, check out the crumb on that. It's not bad at all. Um, it has yeast and it has baking powder in it. I'm going to do a whole video on this later. But I cut some I cut a piece yesterday, and Jim and I each took half of a piece 
and ate half this piece. And let me tell you, it's good. It is really good. I could eat this bread. I could make a sandwich out of this bread with a little bit of this mayo and um, be just as happy as a clam. The texture is like bread. The taste is like bread. And I like it. It doesn't have the rise that a regular gluten loaf has. But I guess that's pretty common in gluten-free breads. But this is wonderful stuff. Now let me show you how it whips. This morning, well, last night I soaked a, a pound of these uh, chickpeas. This morning I cooked them in my pressure cooker. The beans themselves are now over in my dehydrator. I'm making fast beans with them, but I salvaged the liquid. Now when you do it yourself, you have to take the cooking liquid and cook it down by half. I started with about three cups and I ended up by the time I had boiled it down with about a cup and a half. And so I put about a half a cup over in my mixer and I've been whipping it for a few minutes. Just like that. It takes longer than eggs. But look at this. Look. You can use it for meringue. I used it in this bread to give the bread some lift. You can use it just as you would egg white made meringue. And the interesting thing is that with this, this aquafaba whip, I put it in a plastic container to, in the refrigerator to see if it would hold overnight, and it didn't. The air went out of it and it went back to the liquid. So I put the liquid back in the pan whipped it and it whipped up again. And I'm not sure that you could do that with eggs. So this is a fabulous egg replacement and we'll be doing things in the future with aquafaba and some of our recipes. Just think if we are in a grid down situation and you don't have any other access to eggs, you could cook up a batch of uh, chickpeas provided you have the dried beans uh, um, on your food storage shelf. And then you can save the liquid, cook it down and you can have egg replacements. So this is a marvelous addition to our food storage and our capabilities of having more versatility in what we eat. So thank you for joining us and we'll do more with this in future videos and we'll see you next time.